how's everybody doing? Okay, so today is Friday, and we all know what that means, right? It's Fancy Friday. Hello to my fans out there. Hello to my two biggest fans, my dad and Judy. I love you both. So, anyway, this is our first Friday in November. Who thinks it's crazy that it's already November? I mean, <laughs> what in the world, right? Anyway, um, so I decided to dress very summery, springy today. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't know where you are, but here in Illinois, it was in the 70s. And it's November. And it was just delightful. So I thought, I'll dress like the weather was today. <laughs> so anyway, Fancy Friday, if you've never watched, welcome. Fancy Friday is just a simply a day for you to say, I want to be fancy. I want to make the day about me. I want to use the things that I like, but that I never really thought I deserved on a regular basis. That could be a full length gown. That could be a diamond necklace that is just dripping, dripping with the jewels, right? You save those for a special time. But what if those special times don't come? Back when the quarantine started happening, I, I missed dressing up. And I went and I looked in my closet. And do you know how many long formal gowns I had that still had the tags on them? I wasn't going to use them out. You know, my, my husband is just not the type of person that likes to go to like black tie events. I got him to go to one, I think, maybe two, but I think just one where I could wear a, a full length long gown. And I realized that I was wasting the gown. I was wasting the energy that I could just have used just putting on the gown and laying on my couch. And that's what I did. I put the gown on and I laid on my couch. Then I found a tiara <laughs> or tiara, however you want to say that. And it changed a lot of things for me because I started realizing that I deserve those things that I don't have to wait for them. Okay. And that's the whole point. You have those crystal goblets somewhere or that China, that gorgeous China that you only bring out when you have company. But how long has it been since you brought it out and you love that China, right? So bring it out and celebrate you. Okay. Because that's what this is about. This isn't about wearing a fancy dress, although for me it is because I like dressing up and wearing fancy dresses. But I also like realizing that the stuff that I have is mine and I ultimately bought it for me. And if I bought it for somebody else, I bought it for the wrong reason. Okay. There are tablecloths that I absolutely adore and I want to use them because they're beautiful. And most of the time I only bring them out when I have company because if I use them every day, my cats tear them up. <laughs> I mean, not so much like tear them to pieces. They just knock them off. So I had to decide, do I want to use these or do I not? Because I'm only saving them for company. I don't have a lot of company. And even when I do, I kind of keep it casual. So it's like, okay, I think those need to go because I don't use them. I'm not going to use them with the cats around. Now, if they were heirlooms, they were something that somebody had made. Like I have some things my grandmother made. No, I'm sorry. Those are not, those are not going to be set out where the cats can tear them up, but they're also not going to be given away or gotten rid of. There are some things, but I've been thinking about what to do with those. And I've been thinking about maybe putting them in some frames that I can, so that I can still see them, you know, because I want to enjoy them. And that's the whole point. Enjoy it. You know, if the quarantine taught us anything, it taught us that 
we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Many of us lost many, many people, and we had no idea that the last time we talked to them was going to be the last time we talked to them. We don't know when that's going to happen to us, but we do know that right now is what we have. We do know that we can enjoy the hell out of this life right now, okay? So pull out those shoes that you love that you never wear. Pull out those that beer cup or beer stein or crystal goblets or whatever it is that you adore, but you don't think you deserve and you need to have company for it. Bring them out, pull them out, sit them in front of you. I don't care what you drink out of them. It doesn't have to be beer. It doesn't have to be champagne. It could be water. It could be Kool-Aid, okay? Whatever you want, whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel fancy. That's what Fancy Friday is all about. So that is what I'm here for, is to talk about Fancy Friday. And I'm also here to talk about a few other things. One of the things that I started doing was I wanted to kind of start talking about self-care, self-confidence, that kind of thing. So I am going to start a podcast soon. And so I just want to kind of, kind of start this, talk about it and see, you know, what I learned from myself and everybody else about that. So, and that's going to be kind of my, my theme is going to be self-care, self-confidence. So what I've started doing here on Fancy Fridays is I've started doing an affirmation and a self-care idea. And the whole point of an affirmation is for you to repeat it to yourself, okay? For you to remember this. And it's good to have a good a good affirmation every morning, but I do them I've been doing them weekly for you. So if it that works for you, just do it every morning for a week, okay? And the affirmation today is I am proud of me. That probably does not flip off the tongue, does it? We are so used to telling everybody else we're proud of them. That is something that moms almost always tell the kids, I'm proud of you. Dads too, I'm proud of you. But when is the last time you looked in that mirror and said, I'm proud of you? It, it feels weird, doesn't it? Because if you... you might have been raised in a house where you didn't talk about yourself. You didn't give yourself accolades that was for other people to give you, but you told other people. So you spent your whole life saying, I'm proud of you. 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 But what about you? Because I know there's something in you that you got, that you're proud of. There has to be every single one of us has something. Okay. And we're not acknowledging it for whatever reason that might be. Okay. So I am proud of the fact that I do this. Okay. Cause sometimes it's hard to get up and do this. I am proud that I get on my elliptical. Not every day these days, but most days, if I don't swim, if I swim, then I don't do it. Um, if I'm not feeling well, I don't do it. I used to do it even when I wasn't feeling well and I had to kind of push that. I'm proud of myself for realizing the differences, realizing what I can do, what I can't do and what is good for me. And I'm starting to really realize what's good for my body, what's good for my brain and what's good for my mental health. I, this is not the same me from two years ago. Okay. And I'm proud of that. Okay. Cause I'm growing. All right. And you, I know there are things that you're proud of. I know that there's that secret little voice that says, I am so proud that I do this. You don't have to wait for somebody else to tell you. That's the other part. You don't have to wait. Tell yourself. That's another part of being fancy. Okay. You can say, I'm so fancy, but you can also say, I'm proud of myself. Or you can look in the mirror and say, I'm proud of you. If that makes you feel better to say, I'm proud of you, rather than saying, I'm proud of myself. But just say it every morning until it just flows, okay? 
just flows and you can say, wow, I'm really proud of myself. And it does not have to be for anything spectacular. Sometimes my proud of me is I am proud that I got out of bed. Okay? And, and, and that's fantastic because there are days that I'm just like, I want to lay in bed all day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? There is nothing wrong with that. But we all have things that we know are hard. And sometimes getting out of bed is hard. Okay? Sometimes just getting dressed. All right? So be proud of everything that makes you, you, okay? And if you are a friend of mine or a relative of mine and you don't know anything to be proud of, you message me and I'll tell you, because I know there's something. I am proud of each and every one of you. Wow, you know what? It is hotter than the Dickens in here. This is not an attractive look. Whew, I am so sweaty. Hold on, because I'm going to turn on the fan. Hold on one second. Okay, hopefully you can still hear me because the fan's behind me, but it's not blowing, like, terribly, terribly. Just enough to give me a little, whew. All right, it's still hot outside. Whoa, and it's, wow, what's today's day? Number 5th, I think, something like that. All right, so anyway... <laughs> So that is the affirmation for this week. Get used to talking to yourself. Get used to telling yourself good things about you. All right. And the self-care. Let's see. The self-care is going to be cook or order in your favorite meal. If you do not like to cook, do not cook. Let me tell you something. I hate cooking. I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm not good at it. Okay, I am okay at like, you know, putting together really fast meals. The biggest problem for me is the preparation. And it's not just prepping the meal, it's getting myself prepared to prep the meal. Because I am very, I don't even want to say ditzy, I just get involved in other things and the next thing you know, it's 6 p.m. And guess what? That meal is going to take you two hours to cook. Once you get the chop to chop and cook and get everything up, I'm really bad at that. I used to be much better at, you know, prepping it during the day, but I'm not so much. And so for me, this self-care would be ordering in, <laughs> ordering my favorite meal or having somebody else make it. So if you like to cook, that might be something that's really good self-care for you. You love it, it makes you feel good, and it makes you feel good to give it to somebody else. But make sure this is your favorite meal and not somebody else's, okay? And I'd love to hear what your favorite meal is, okay? Because I, I have a hard time, but you know what? One of the meals that I do make that is not hard to make because I make it in my Instant Pot is butter chicken. It's an Indian dish. That's one of my top favorite meals. Yeah. I really, really like that. And I also like a good steak with au gratin potatoes. And now I'm kind of making myself hungry. <laughs> um, anyway, so again, I am proud of myself. And make yourself or order yourself your favorite food this week doesn't have to be every day just something to look forward to pick Tuesday or Wednesday or tomorrow or whatever and say this is the day I am gonna have my favorite meal all right so I hope you enjoyed oh wait a minute wait a minute I'm so sorry normally I show you my dress this is a dress that you have seen before but I'll show it to you again it is one of my favorite dresses uh, let's see if this is going to let you see it. Okay. This is one of my favorite dresses. It goes right to my knees. Just a little, yeah, I would say just at the top of my, the bottom of my knees, I guess you would say. And this color is like one of my favorite colors. So this is self-care for me. Sorry, I'm hearing somebody back there. It's 
this is self-care for me because this color makes me happy. And when a color makes me happy and I feel good and when I'm wearing, I feel happier. <laughs> and so that's really what self-care is too. All right, so I want to give another shout out to my daddy and to Judy and to Lisa, my biggest fans. And I hope that you're having an awesome Friday. And I hope that your weekend is a fantastic weekend. And I love you all. Bye.